Hi guys, Sourdough Kathy here and it is a rainy, rainy day. It's miserable, but I have some Nordlands that need to come out, as you can see. I know everyone always says I pull these out early, but these have been in here almost 120 days and they are an early potato. And we're losing them to the rain. We've lost a couple buckets to the rain. They rotted out with nothing in them. So I'm not taking any chances. So you get to see the first reveal of Nordlands. See, even the bugs, these slimy little snails love to get into this stuff. Yuck. So let's see what we got here now. Ooh, I see potatoes. I see lots of little potatoes, and I see some other potatoes, too. This is not exactly the day I wanted to do this on, but it doesn't look like we're going to get much. That's a nice potato there. And I have some bags in my pocket. has a lot of them, but there's a lot of little ones. And I wanted you to know that this one is just from a piece of the potato. Just a chip with some skin on it. I always like to let you know because I find that just the chits themselves give me more potatoes. A lot of decent size, not, not exactly large, but edible potatoes for sure. Butter and parsley. And I'm sure if it hadn't been raining so much, we probably would have had a lot more than what we've got right now. Which is a lot of little babies that can't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a plastic bag out of my pocket with my wet soaking hands here muddy hands gently try to put them in so I don't scat take any skin off and then we'll take these in the house and see how much weight we got on them got a couple of little ones but you know what they're selling them at the store now just like this in little bags so and they're charging you five bucks for a little tiny bag of them. Here's another one. So folks, even with cancer, I made it another year to do these reveals. All right, I need my other one. David, could you hand it to me? It's heavy. <clears throat> As you can see, they're pretty well shot. And leaving them in in this rain is not going to get them any healthier. Especially with the bugs. I have some where the bugs are just eating them alive. This one also is another Nordlin. I don't know if you can see that because I don't know where that camera is exactly aimed. This one is quite heavy. So I don't know what I'm going to find. I found a potato. Looks like these Nordlands might need a little bit more space because the ones that I bought were huge when I bought them. And see, these are all soaking wet. No sun either. No sun. That's right. David just reminded me. No sun for probably four weeks now. You know, except for maybe an hour or so here and there. Which isn't unusual for this time of year, but we had all our sun early in the year. When these were just starting, because I, I started these on like the 1st of May. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add on to this uh, video, is some daily uh, harvest that I've made over the last week or two. Mostly with my peas. Some, there will be some pictures of 
the cabbages mm -hmm. now this batch is nice this one has much better potatoes on it and I could tell by the weight of it that it was what I'd like to see is the one that just made from a chip should have brought it over here I'm gonna take these and put them in a bag fine isn't it nice when people interrupt you when you're doing something okay so here are the two bags I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in here that goes to the first one I think no nothing else in there that I can find you want to do one of the mother buckets uh, if you would like to get one the one that has just the chip I just buried my microphone in, I don't know how it came off, my microphone was inside the dirt. Excuse me. Would you like to get it? Sorry about that guys, I didn't mean to mess up or blow in your ears. I'm just not where I used to be. And I never was really great at all of this stuff anyway. I just want one that says chits on it. Strictly chit. It has a tag. It's right there, underneath. No, it's underneath. David, right there. See if it says chit. No. Then it's maybe the one next to it it's in a black container also hold on folks i'll be right there okay i'm back we found the right one finally i didn't want to keep you looking and this one was just from a chit this one did not come from a piece of a potato. This one was strictly a chit. It, uh, one of the potatoes had a huge chit on it. So I decided to see what we get from it. So here we go. I'm already seeing potatoes over here. Oh my goodness. And this is why I like chits. Just the chit, not the potato. nice potatoes good sized potatoes and for those who are asking what I use in these buckets this is a mixture of a pro mix and whatever was left from the year before I put in here and I mix it with uh, castings and uh, so it's not that I go out and buy this stuff every year because I don't this is just old repurposed soil that I was given to me actually it was given to me alright so looks like there's not as many potatoes but look at the size of them compared to the other ones they're much larger so I'm gonna put those in the chit bag no I don't say the dirty word It's funny because the ones the the ones we purchased we purchased like three potatoes the skins are very very soft the skins uh, or rather the potatoes we bought were very deep purple and these are coming out almost a pinkish like a red potato all right so I think that'll be it for today and we have a bunch more to do and we will do those on another day
Bye bye now. I love you all. All right, guys. So here we are back in the kitchen, and I'm going to weigh the first um, bag of potatoes. The first bag of potatoes is two pounds, 1.1 ounce. Let's say two pounds, one ounce. The second bag is two pounds. So that's four pounds, one ounce. And I did tear this all out. And the third one that was just the chit alone was one pound, 10.9 ounces. So we've gotten approximately a little over five, five and a half pounds of potatoes out of three little buckets. So we can't beat that. And I'm sorry that uh, I kind of rambled on a little bit before I was supposed to. So I will see you at the end of the film when you get to look at all my vegetables. Alrighty then. Hi guys, Sourdough Kathy here. I just wanted to give you a peek at some peas that I took off of our plants today. And I got close to a pound here, 14 ounces, 0.6. So with that and uh, about 10 ounces the other day, we're doing pretty good in the peas. So I'll be back with more information. Hang in there. Hi guys. Well, this is the second day from when I got all of my peas off. So I'm going to show you what I have now because my son went out there and was good enough to pick them all off for me because I've been quite exhausted lately and look at this this is awesome and let's get them all in there this is one pound 10.9 ounces wow it's awesome I'm gonna break this all down eventually probably tomorrow blanch them and throw them into packets of six ounces because that's about what it takes to feed us six to eight ounces I'll be back with more Today, guys, I'm getting ready to take down some cabbages, so David's kind of shooting for me. He's just showing you what's going on here in the cabbage patch. And I decided that I am going to make uh, stuffed cabbages tonight. So I'm going to take out this big one here. We've already measured it, and we'll give you the size of it when we're done. It's 10 inches wide. And it's really, oh, it's not as much as the last one that I took last year, but it's big and it'll do for stuffed cabbages. So we'll take this in the house and take off all these excess leaves and give you a weight. Okay guys, well it's teared out and I am going to put this cabbage on top to find out just how much it actually weighs. Forgive me because my hands are kind of shaking while I'm trying to do this one-handedly. Sorry about that. So, not as big as last year. Only 5 pounds, 15 ounces. Almost, almost 6 pounds. Just shy of 6 pounds by a couple of by an ounce. So we'll be on to the next thing. Well here's where the cabbage landed up. Now I didn't do a perfect job. I would have done a lot more things but when you have little energy you just do the best you can and stick it in the oven. Okay here I am again today. This is about the third or fourth day 
that I started picking beans and I teared out my sorry guys I have a problem with my brain lately it doesn't work real well but anyway my scale okay it took me that long to remember what I'm doing okay so here we go so we got over a half a pound 9 .9, 9 9.8 ounces so gosh we've gotten so many of these beans and you gotta look at the size of these things they're huge they're almost the, the length of my hand and they're they're just so crispy and awesome I love these things anyway we'll be back okay guys it's been a day and a half since I last picked the beans well my snow peas are full again and I had to get out there today in the pouring rain which feels like it's going to turn to snow any day so I'm going to show you how much I have here this is just today it's only been one day since I picked and if you saw my earlier videos there was just a small plot like maybe four foot by six foot I have exactly a pound right on the nose of beans thank God we're gonna eat some more tonight because I still have some that need to be frozen we will carry on showing you more and this my friend is what happens to an 8.3 ounce cabbage when you allow it to stay outside and the rain just keeps running and running and running and it blew up my cabbage but I'm gonna eat it anyway that's fine with me blown up or not okay guys this will probably be the last of the uh, snow peas and I gave a pounds worth to my oncologist and this is one and a half pounds so I had two and a half pounds more on top of all the rest of them this will be added into the video